Guys, Whenevitable here with another guide, another hero layout. We're actually going to be talking about the one, the only, the lovable, the cuddle, cuddable, cuddle, 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 cuddly, maybe that's the word, the, the beautiful, the gorgeous, the, uh, the stitches. Yes, from the Warcraft universe, this is a melee warrior. Check out that dance animation. This is one of the special skins he has, uh, Psycho Stitches. There's a Chef Stitches where he's carrying around a frying pan. He's got King Stitches, which is the master skin. He's got like a, the Mardi Gras stuff going on with like the hat and the, sh the scepter. Uh, and then of course, just his basic default skin. He's fabulous. He's a lot, a lot of fun to play. Um, sorry, I was thinking about another skin I saw a video of. It's not in the game, but it was uh, the beach uh, stitches where he's running around with like one of those floaties around his midsection and he's got it's like a rubber ducky kind of thing it's hilarious there's like a video on youtube somewhere um it's not actually in game yet but this guy is fun the plays are real he's got a lot of cool things like this thing oh that's a w there we go we'll talk about that in a minute that's called the hook that's what stitches is known for right there um melee warrior the most hit points in the game tied of course i believe it's diablo is it diablo and arthas right Diablo, yeah. Yeah, Diablo and, oh no, Asmodan. Diablo and Asmodan. Uh, 1,060. Most hit points at level 20 with 6,000, again, tied with those two. Uh, highest health regen, also tied with them, uh, both in the beginning of the game and at the end of the game. And early game, his damage is 48 per auto attack, one of the highest in the game. There's only two other ones higher than his. Uh, late game, it doesn't scale as well. It goes, you know, the uh, the basic auto attack damage, I should say, but he has a ton of damage, especially for a warrior. Um, he is a monster in both senses, literal and metaf you know metaphorical, like senses of the word. A lot of fun to play uh, with some really cool abilities. We'll talk about all of those. I guess start with the trait. Uh, Vile gas is his trait. When he's damaged, he emits a gas cloud that persists for four seconds. Enemies who enter it are poisoned for 12 damage per second for three seconds. So that's 36 damage uh, over three seconds at level one. And the cloud uh, it lasts for the full use. You can see here, what does it say, four seconds? Yeah, so if we come out here, we'll talk with the minions on and we'll try and shut it off. It's uh, one of the most underrated traits in the game. You kind of really don't notice it. It's just there doing work while you're off, you know, in La La Land. Like if I take damage, you can see there, there's the little cloud. If Arthas walks into that, he will then take the poison damage. So you can surprise people with that. Pretty cool. Um, and then his Q is the one we, the ability we showed off before, the hook. This is his, his statement right here. This is what makes Stitches Stitches. Uh, it's a skill shot, 14 second cooldown, mana call 75, very expensive. And, you know, and then uh, it actually pulls an enemy towards you, dealing a little bit of damage and a short, short stun. So if I'm going to hook the Arthas, you just do that. And then I can slam. That was the slam, the W. The shortest cooldown of his abilities at 8 seconds, lowest mana cost at 55, and uh, it deals damage in a cone shape, starting from where Stitches is. He basically just slams the ground and does some damage. So if we, like clear the cooldown, walk out here, slam. It's good for, for clearing waves and, and dealing some damage in team fights. Um, and then E, the Devourer, he can actually go and eat something, take a bite out of like a minion or a hero, deal a big chunk of damage, 320 to minions, 60 to heroes, and it restores 20% of your max health. Now it's a 30 second cooldown, so you kind of want to use that, you know, after you've taken a big chunk of damage. Um, sometimes you can bait other heroes into attacking you, and then you take a bite out of them and then kill them with because you've got that 20% health back, and you know, 20% of one of the highest health pools in the game. Uh, it's quite insane. I should say before going any further, this is going to be a bit of a, a hybrid build. It's damage focused. This is not a special hook build where you go for like extra range on the Q. It's also not like a, if you're solo tanking with Stitch, you might prefer more. He does have a lot of hit points. You might prefer a tankier build where you insert more of like the regen master or chew your food thing and you kind of build up his, the, like, um, his health pool versus his damage. This is more of a damage oriented build. Still works even as a solo tank. Uh, and with this, you can actually lead in, in damage. I've led, had games where I've led both hero and siege damage. Um, but generally you're gonna have a ton of siege, I mean a ton of hero damage. Your siege damage might not be all that high, but you should be getting a lot of, of hero damage um, with this guy and with this build in particular. So 
let's take a look. Um, both of the heroics are viable, depending on team comps. It's going to come down to that a little bit more than anything else as Arthas takes a fall. So why don't we go ahead and look at the build? We'll go through to level 10. Let's go to level 10 and we'll talk about one of the heroics and then we'll talk about the other one. Like I said, both are viable. Um, it kind of, it's one depends on play style and two, it depends on the comp. Level one, we take heavy slam. This is gonna be what we always take. Maybe if like you could make a case pre-nerf that Nova was so strong in a match with Nova, you might want block, but uh, especially as like a solo tank kind of thing. But with this build, remember we're doing damage. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna take that. Uh, like a tankier build would take like chew your food or regeneration master where you're not, you don't need damage. You just need a little bit more sustain. Uh, but this is for damage, so it's heavy slam, damage increased by 50%. You can see it deals 115 damage right now, we're at level 10. So if I increase that by 50, that's an extra. Uh, was that 55 and two and a half, you know, so uh, 57 and a half damage. Um, like I said, and it's it's the lowest cooldown of his abilities, it's eight seconds. You know, uh, that's it's gonna stack up. Then this is one of the big reasons why you start, start into that. Then. Uh, now I said it's not a full slam build, so level four is going to be a little bit different. If you were going with a tank build, you'd take like amplified healing. Um, but here, your big choices are between Vile Cleaver and Putrid Ground. Uh, ground will actually, when you slam, it will infect with your with your trait with the Vile ga Gas. So instead of just putting a puddle on the ground, it'll actually infect everything in that cone uh, that you hit with your slam. So. That's kind of a cool trait, and it used to be the the option here. But then, actually, what we're looking at now is the basic attacks create a cloud of vile gas on this target. So, what you can do now, instead of getting your slam to infect with vile gas, your basic attacks will. And you're attacking just under one per second. Uh, if we bring that up, you can see it's 0.91 attacks per second. This is um, you know shows you all of his statistics here. He's got a melee range 1.5. Most heroes are 5.5. That, that have range on them at least. Um, so we'll show this off. Uh, if you go with this, and you come in here and I attack, right? If I attack this minion, he's gonna start taking some damage. And you can see, if I would actually, if I combo, if I do a slam, and then I come in and I auto attack, you can see these guys are dying. I didn't have to keep hitting the same minion. It's kind of hard to show with, with uh, allies here, but say I was just attacking that wave by myself with no help, you can actually cycle your attacks and attack multiple targets at one time each, and then the poison will take hold. The the vile gas, you know, is going to do damage over time, and you're going to clear a wave pretty quickly with it. Uh, and you'll actually be able to get more DPS going with this on four with the vile cleaver. Now level seven, uh, again. Now this there's a couple choices here. A tank, tankier build, um, might go for something like savor the flavor. I don't know. It's 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 up to you for that, but this is more member of the damage. So there's two choices again between Tenderizer and Toxic Gas. I really love Tenderizer. It slows enemy movement speed by 25% for 1.5 seconds. That's a lot. Uh, and he's attacking 0.91 per second. So you're gonna get another attack on them and you can keep somebody permanently slowed by 25% with Tenderizer. So if I come in here, if I can actually get the attack on him, he is slowed. Now, if he starts, to, I don't think he's gonna run. Maybe we'll actually at, at auto attack for a little bit here. Take a bite out of him, and you can see I'm faster than him because I'm attacking him. And I think I missed one attack. I can actually attack through the gate. We're not. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. There you go. He's dead. Um, but you can permanently slow somebody with that, with the uh, with your just your basic attacks here, the tenderizer. But a toxic gas, if you need a little bit more damage, and you don't need the slow in this the CC of the tenderizer, the soft CC there. Uh, you could take toxic gas and then it increases the radius by 25% of your trait and the duration of the effect by two seconds. Now it's a three second, uh, it lasts for, no, the cloud lasts for four seconds, so it would last for six seconds. So it's, you know, it's a 50% increase plus the radius is increased and you'll get a, a ton of damage. If you don't need the slow, if you don't like the slow for some reason, try out toxic gas. But I, I love taking tenderizer time and time again, just slowing down those, um, it, you know, it works on minions and mercs too, but just slowing down enemy heroes, particularly in team fights, is really, really useful. Because, uh, you know, if you noticed, Stitches doesn't have a good form of appeal. There's no stun right now. The only thing he has is the hook. Like, if there's an Arthas on my Malfurion, 
and I need to peel for him, I can't stun this guy, I can't root him. I have to basically be far away from the mouth and then hook the Arthas away. That's his peel is basically, that's what the extent of it. Um, at least at this point in the game. Okay, so now we've, we've gotten to 10. Let's look at a heroic choices here. Uh, there's two, Putrid Bile. Now it will emit bile, it deals a certain amount of damage, 53 right now per second to enemies within, slowing by 35%. You gain 20% move speed while emitting the bile, and it lasts for 8 seconds. So that's uh, quite a bit, a 35% slow, and you get to move 25% faster. Pretty cool. Uh, Gorge is the iconic one that you see all the plays, like, you know, it's, it's a pretty awesome one as well. Uh, you can actually eat an enemy here, you consume them trapping them inside so they disappear from the battlefield they're in your belly you know get in my belly uh you trap them for 3.5 seconds it deals 400 damage here at level 10 and then when it ends they take another 400 damage so that's 800 damage you can kill people you can actually eat them and then they'll die inside of you and he burp he just like you know he burps he's like I, I, I can't do it you know but it's a it's a pretty cool sound um I'm trapped here they cannot move they cannot act they don't take any damage from other sources outside of that you know the two hits of damage they take from you and uh, your move speed is reduced by 15% so you're a little bit slower but if I take Gorge and then can we hook him? Oh, hook, you have to practice your hooks to really land it what I wanted to do was let's see we got 8 seconds we could actually clear the cooldown so I want to show something off here if I eat him this is a pretty cool tactic. You can actually walk people through the gate. Now nah, he's trapped. He's dead. So you can do that to people in a live setting. It's pretty fun. There's actually a glitch too, I think, where you can hook through the gate, but I haven't been able to replicate that reliably. So, uh, you know, maybe you can give it a shot and see what happens. So that's one heroic. Uh, this is the iconic one, as I said. This is really good for taking a pesky troublemaker out of the fight. Like an Arthas, if he's in your back line and he's causing trouble, you just eat him. You walk away from the rest of your team because he's a tank. He's going to be pretty hard to kill. You kind of want to peel with it, right? So you get away. If it's a squ you can take people like I did behind the gate to kill them. You can uh, hook people, basically, like a, a squisher hero, like a, you know an assassin, like a Vala. You just hook them. You know he's running away, and then I don't have gorge up, but I would gorge, and I'd run back, and you could like basically as the hero pops out after the 3.5 seconds, you can then uh, just you know kill them. And a, a cool thing with actually with Malfurion here is you can he can put it's kind of like spitting out on the lawn they call it you uh, Malfurion puts his root down and then you you drop the hero out you ungorge them I guess and uh, they'll actually pop out onto his root and then they won't be able to move and then you can focus them down or if you have an Uther there he can stun them um, so there's a lot of room for combos with this and it's really good for picking and catching enemy heroes pulling them in you can gorge them you can take them behind the gate you can just drop them into CC and then obliterate them. Um, and so there's those two choices. There's kind of like the one to use it to isolate and kill an enemy, and the other one is to take a hero out of the fight for 3.5 seconds. Now you can't eat massive targets, so I believe the Odin is not an option. You can't really, uh, oh I just hit a minion. You have to be careful, the hook will hit minions and mercenaries. I wasn't paying attention, I didn't see the minion. Um, so you really have to get good with it and know like when to use it and uh, how to get good hits with it. Otherwise you'll end up wasting it. You can hit buildings, that's another thing. Um, like if I was back here and I hooked the Arthas, I would not be able to hook him through the wall. He would actually stop right here. Um, and he wouldn't, I couldn't pull him through the gate, with the exception of a glitch every now and then. Um, similarly, if he was behind the wall there, I would not have been able to hook him. It would bounce. If I clear the cooldown here, you can see it does a little bit of damage and then it stops. Uh, and a cool thing with that actually is, I believe you can see the walls highlighted. If I move down here, the wall is not highlighted, so you'll be able to tell if you're going to hit a structure or not most of the time. And then, you know, we just hook him back. Oh, I missed him. You can see, you do have to put some effort into it, uh, really knowing when you're going to hit, when you're not going to hit. And so that's Gorge. Let's go ahead, we'll level up to 20 and show off Putrid Bile, and then the other three talent choices. Uh, now, you have to think about when you're going to take which talent, right? Which is the right one for the team comp that you're in. And some, some of it's play style. Maybe you just want to uh, go with Gorge all the time and you just like it. You know, that's your preferred MO. Um, but Bile is really good, and we'll sh let's show it off before we get to 13. On like a map like Cursed Hollow, where there's a lot of narrow walkways, like if I come in here, hook him back, and then if I drop, here's the Bile animation you can see I'm a little bit faster 
you can basically kind of kind of like creating a moat between yourself and the enemy team. Maybe um, you need to your team got in a bad situation. You need to escape and just get out. It's a good disengage because if like the enemy team's here and then I just pop bio and I'm running up and down and I'm like, you know, running all over the place, the enemy team's gonna have to cross this. So they will be dismounted if they were mounted. They won't be able to mount, they'll be taking damage and they'll be slowed by 35%. And it's easy to just pack up, mount up and get out uh, while that bio's down. It lasts for eight seconds. So it's a good disengage. It's also a kind of a good engage because you get that bonus move speed, that 20% move speed. So say we're kind of two teams are staring at each other, we're kind of baiting, trying to bait a team fight, and then I go and I pop bio. If I can get behind a hero or two with the bio while I have that increased move speed, you've forced the team fight, and more than likely you're in a good position where you're gonna get a kill on someone. Uh, there we go. Boom, you can actually kill people with the hook too. All right, so it's good for disengaging it's good for engaging and it's good for appealing in a sense if they if the enemy team is hard engaged like murd and sonya um people with jumps like it you know Tyrell, even with the judgment and illidan is there to melee heroes that need to get in close to deal damage you can drop the bile in front of them and then they have to cross it to do damage they're taking damage they're slowed it gives you more time to back up kite them a little bit and also you don't even have to drop it behind them you could say, say Arthas is the front line, I could even come in behind him and do this, and then all of a sudden I'm attacking the back line. Their front line is cut off from their back line, right? I'm a tank. Now, if my healer focuses me, he can use to keep me alive because I have a ton of hit points. Might die, I might. But as a tank, it's okay. Um, as long as my back line, the other four heroes on my team, focus whoever's on the left side of the bio, who's, whoever's on this side of the bio, they focus them, they can kill them, win that fight. And then more than likely I'm still alive. But either way, they're going to be in a good spot. It'll probably they'll probably have a numbers advantage to then finish the team fight, uh, you know, with whatever's left after the bio, you know, after they've cleared up the one side of the team. So hopefully that makes sense. It's a little conceptual uh, to kind of talk about here in a in the try mode. Um, let's let's refresh these forts. They're pushing the lanes pretty hard. <clears throat> so those are the big things the ways to use it uh and for me like i said it's mostly comp dependent if there's like a you know like i said a hard engage lots of melee heroes on the enemy team they need to get in close to deal damage and they're kind of relying on engaging into my team future bile is a great choice it's also a great choice on those maps that i was talking about like haunted uh haunted minds is okay and cursed hollow with like all those narrow pathways it's really good really you can probably make it work anywhere anytime you can make either one work they're both good but uh Gorge is going to be more in the case where there's like a single hero you're trying to take out of the fight or you they have a couple squishy heroes and you have good follow-up and by follow-up I mean you have like an Uther with stuns, you have the Malfurion with the roots and so you can hook someone, you catch them, you gorge them and then you can spit them out onto some CC and lock them down because if you you know uh, hook somebody and you gorge them and you don't get the kill it's a big uh, big you know drawback it's a big mistake kind of um, also, you have to be careful about hooking certain heroes, like an Uther. Hooking an Uther, and he comes all of a sudden, he's in the middle of your team, and he throws down his Divine Storm. That's painful. Um, a Tarandi with a Starfall. I've done that. I did that. I made that mistake once. That was terrible. Uh, hooking an Arthas, like a big tank, is not generally a good thing either because they have a ton of hit points, but it's not always a bad thing either. It's more about watching out for those heroes that once they get in the middle of your team, you're in, oh my god, what did I just do? If you hook like a Stitches another stitches with bile or something you know and then all of a sudden he's in the middle of your team and he's dropping bile everywhere that's going to be a problem so yet you, you can't just hook anybody anytime there are some heroes you don't want to hook particularly like the ones that i mentioned um okay so let's go ahead and jump through the rest of the build and then you know we'll show more of this and talk about more of this in the actual game 13 depends on the enemy team comp two choices here so i said this is not a hook build it's more of a damage build if they have a ton of cc roots silences and things like that relentless is the great great choice it reduces anything like that by 50 percent uh that's a generic talent of course mega smash is uh the other one you would take if you don't need relentless it actually increases the range and arc of slam by 25 percent so we'll walk over here just to give some range and you can see that's the normal slam now if i do mega smash it's like that so you can catch a huge amount of people in team fights with that and it stacks nicely with the level 16 choice pulverize this is the other form of 
I wouldn't really call this peel, but it's a little bit of CC. It's a short stun. It increases damage by, on your W, on your slam, by 50%, and it stuns for 0.5 seconds. I can't tell you how good that stun is in certain cases. If there's a Vala strafing, oh, huh, slam, oh, she's stunned. Somebody's trying to run away, ah, oh, slam, no, you're not getting away. You know, it's uh, it's pretty cool. You can interrupt abilities, a Nazebo with a Ravenous Spirit. What are you doing, buddy? No, I don't think so. You're not, not today, right? Get out. Um, so that stun is really cool, and that's why I love taking it over uh, like the increased range. This is pretty cool. Fishing hook, if you're doing a hook build, fishing looks really good. And if you're doing more of a solo tank build, imposing presence isn't bad because you get that people who are attacking you, their, their attack speed's reduced by 50%, but it's so hard to give up Pulverize. That stun is just so good. Um, so that's what we're really going to go for. And remember, you know, you work on your hooks. Get those down. Level 20, uh, you know, it's going to be resurgence of the storm. Um, the heroic upgrade lasts... Bio lasts two seconds longer and it heals for 50% of the damage dealt. That's actually pretty cool. I'm tempted to try that out sometime in a game where I'm ahead. But Resurgence of the Storm is really good right now. Um, so I would hate to give it up. Sometimes you'll see a bolt, particularly with uh, Gorge. And the idea is you'll hook somebody, you know, I'd hook somebody and then I'd eat them. Oh, I just... <laughs> I just used Bio anyways. But you, if I had Gorge, you would Gorge them and then you could then, you know, blink behind like something or blink away. And the idea is then all of a sudden you've transported them, you know, so far back that you're going to be guaranteed a kill on the hero that you've gorged. You could also use it offensively, I think, with Bile and say blink into the enemy team and then drop the Bile. That's certainly a potential. So you could try those out. I recommend Resurgence as default just because it's it's pretty good right now. And, it, you know, more than likely the enemy team is going to have Resurgence. So you're going to need... Um, you're going to need that Resurgence on your team to counteract the enemy team. But it's... So there's some leeway there if you want to make a different choice. It's up to you. All right, guys. So that does it for this portion. Let's go ahead and take him into an actual game uh, and show off some of his, his cool, cool abilities. He is a lot of fun. So we'll be getting back to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment. You know I take requests. If there's a specific guy you're looking for, we're trying to get all of the heroes done before the beta comes out. And I think we've got a few, you know, about 10 more, roughly, to go. Uh, we're on the home stretch. I'm almost, almost on the home stretch. So... You know, lots and lots more coming. Thanks for watching, guys, as always. Appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.